Create validation rules. No login can now track which accounts don't have a support ex plan expiration date. But he also wants to ensure that going forward all users enter the support plan expiration date and when the has support plan checkbox is selected for an account. Alison Wheeler has a similar request. She would like to ensure that sales rep enter a close reason whenever an opportunity is lost. Take care of Noah's and Alison's request by creating validation rules, which allow you to specify your own criteria to prevent users saving invalid data in one or more fields. Create a validation rules. First, create an account validation rule that forces users to enter a support plan expiration date. When has support plan is selected from setup, click object manager and select account. Select validation rules, then click new. Check to manager account validation rules and click new. Rule name enters a pop on expiration date required. Let's copy paste that. For description, enter. Enter this formula in the error condition checkbox. No errors found. So let's um, disseminate the formula. As support plan as a custom field, probably checkbox. And if it's true, then and the box is blank then uh, support plan expiration date needs to be selected oh no that's when the error happens that's when the error happens select field as the error location And support plan expiration date as the target. And save. Next, create an opportunity validation rule to force users to enter a close reason when the opportunity stage is closed lost. They really need to provide some more explanations, especially for the, for the formulas, because we just copy and paste stuff, but we don't know. We can only guess like why it's structured that way. It's a bit unfortunate, but anyway, let's continue here. Object manager, opportunity. Validation rules. Click new. Description, we copy that. Formula, we copy that as well. Is pick a vowel. That means if the value is, is picked as closed laws and if it's blank and if the close reason is blank then the error should appear. That's what I'm taking from this formula. Will I remember this? Probably not, but anyway it's good to keep in the back of our head like how these 
are structured, maybe you can write it down. So you may or may not remember that later on when you need it somehow. For the field, close reason is this like the target field. I guess it will be highlighted. And now we can actually check that in the sales view. If this is active. So let's go to a random account. I think the last one we had was Edge Communications. So let's just um, edit things here. Let's find some opportunity. Set it to closed lost and see if we can close one. Let's set it to lost and see if we can. The error message too sharp. Yeah, so this works. You must enter a close reason when your opportunity is closed lost. And here we can choose a reason. Actually, we can choose multiple reasons. I haven't seen that before. That's the pick list. And now it's working. Well, let's verify this. And that's it. So we have created pick lists, lookup filters, formula fields and record types, set up page layouts and field history tracking, which didn't really work for some reason, and established the validation rule, which actually worked. So now we have another batch, which is always good learned a little bit along the way if you uh, like this video series hit the like button if you want to see more hit the subscribe button if you have any feedback for me whether positive or negative always happy to read it just type it in the comment box below thank you so much for watching and have a good day